Hi, welcome to part 3 of Wolf HP system installation. Right, when you when you install the sling mount, uh, one thing you should be very careful about is to not uh, compress cables anywhere, so they they have some space. Uh, this happens many times to the users. They usually forget to check this, and when they uh, put sling mount and buffer tube uh, together they squeeze cables and cut them so this particular gun the grooves for the cables are wide enough so it's not really a problem Okay, so before we continue, we, we must do recalibration again because now we have gearbox inside lower receiver and the values of selector position and trigger might be a little bit different now. And what we do first is go open the plug in the battery, wait uh, work to boot up. And the next thing we do is hold the menu button and we get into the higher menu and we navigate to the menu number 10 which is recalibration and we hold other button we wait system to boot up now we are back into recalibration menu we choose three selector positions, select OK, and now we repeat the recalibration process. OK, we set selector to save, press up, select, set selector to position one, press up, and we are going to set selector to position two and press up. The next thing we do is press trigger a few times. If we have some wobble inside trigger, we move it also sideways. So the, the processor captures all the values. And when we are done, we press up. Okay, so now we have save, save me. Okay, so now I have installed the gearbox into lower receiver. I have plugged in programming unit and plugged in air and power supply. We are going to do now the nozzle adjustment. Uh, we are going to use this uh, key that comes inside the package. And if we take the barrel and hop hop assembly and we lean it toward the gearbox you will notice that the, the hop-up doesn't get to the end of the gearbox and if I press it a little more it will, it will you will hear some sound which is nozzle movement and this means that we basically have some space between the gearbox and the hop-up what we are going to do now we are going to decrease the front position of the nozzle we, are, uh, we will move it a little bit to the back 
so we can have the optimal ceiling force and how we are going to do it is using this key and we are going to screw it clockwise to move the front position of nozzle more to the back. Like so. And now we try again. There is minimal space between the hop up and the gearbox and this this is okay you can go a little bit more to the back or more more forward it depends on the next test which we will do is the ceiling test okay so for the ceiling test uh, what we are gonna do is we are gonna increase some parameters so the nozzle dwell will go to about 30 something like this is okay you can go much higher while dwell should be about one millisecond it's okay and what we are gonna do most importantly we will increase the bb dwell to the maximum which is 200 what will what this will do it will uh, keep the nozzle forward after the shot for 200 milliseconds and we will be able to estimate our seal quality by the sound so if i shoot this is on open bolt mode we can see that the nozzle is stays further forward more time Okay, the next thing we lean the hop up with the barrel next to the gearbox and what we are gonna do on the other end is plug it with the finger. And it is important to keep it as aligned as much as possible. It is even better if you do it with the upper receiver on but you still need to plug the barrel with your finger. And if we make shots, we can hear poof and then a release, no hissing. And this is good ceiling. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, you should have pressure set to about 3 bars or four, 45 psi. Because uh, if, you, if you have too much pressure, you will... You will the test will be too brutal and you will probably hear his and think something is wrong uh, but in truth it isn't just to demonstrate how the bad seal sounds like i will now intentionally misalign the barrel and you will be able to hear it you can hear hissing and then puff which is which means that the seal is bad so that's it for this video make sure to check next part link is in the description bye